got approval from the city to uh, close off the school road a mile long stretch instead of measuring up a quarter mile. And that grant is Tesla against my 71 challenge. It's 130 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour speed zone. That's where they did the video. Well, I meet Zachary because this Tesla roster goes 12, 6, 12, 7, yep. and a quarter. So then he's an automobile electric drag car. Going to pull about 800,000 watts for two seconds or so, and then after the motors kind of get up to speed, the the amperage starts to drop because the motors start to push back. They don't really want they don't really want much power after they start to get up to speed. We've got a three-speed transmission. We start off in first. It's one to one to the back. We're running a 325 rear end for anybody anybody out there who's uh, doing any drag racing. And we've got uh, mm -hmm. two gear vendors that are at 0.78 each, so you can multiply that out 0.78 times. 3.25 gives you your first uh, first shift point, and then uh, 0.78 times 0.78 times 3.25 gives you your second second shift point. Uh, we don't expect to run over uh, 2,500 RPM today. We might have a standard 9-inch uh, Ford rear end, like I said, 3.25 ratio. We're running 30-inch uh, slicks, good years. The motors are built by uh, George Hamstra of Netgain. He's out of Chicago works with Warfield. They're a famous motor company. Uh, the battery pack was built by John Metric, who's president of NIDRA, National Electric Drag Race Association. He's out of Houston, Texas. This company's called Lone Star. This is one of three of the biggest packs in the United States. One was just recently run by Don Garlitz, uh, a very similar pack built by Derek Barger. We used to work with him too. Um, uh, Don Garlitz is trying to achieve a 200 mile an hour mark in the quarter mile uh, with an electric dragster. He got close. Didn't he get up over 180 recently? At 82 years old, he's doing pretty good, I think. <laughs> His team is uh, is a lot of people we know. Test this thing without blowing it up again. <laughs> we generally blow it up. <laughs> Today we're trying not to. Uh, we we got the motor burned in really well. Both motors burned in really well. The idea is to get the brushes seated really well. They're DC motors, so they've got brushes on all sides. There's there's eight brushes on each motor. They come in from the sides and it's like fire or something. You can reach in and pull that and disconnect the high voltage completely from the rest of the car. Pass that switch. These cables go directly up to a big dimmer. This is just like a big dimmer switch on your wall. It turns up and down the speed of the motor. The throttle inside is actually just kind of like a volume control in your stereo. Mm -hmm. It basically turns up the motor or turns it down. And if you looked in there, it's just a little shaft that turns with a little potentiometer mm -hmm. that changes the voltage. That's